Let's leave the acting to the professionals, like our very own Taylor Mosby, who's growing into her own in Hollywood. I probably got started in acting, I mean plays and stuff, when I was six. Back to actually doing TV, more around 10 or 9. Whenever I would see something on TV, I would memorize the commercial and just do it all around the house. And so I tried out for Annie, and then from there it just kind of worked out. <laughs> She used to go to Ava Maria, the lady that took care of her, said, you know what, this kid is really, you know, advanced. You know, she's talking and, you know, she's, you know, she's really good and she's comprehending a lot of things, you know, and they were like, you really should think about doing something with her. I never thought about it at the time, but as you go on, you think, you know, I remember, you know, people saying, you know, hey, she has the it factor. I do much Well, I did just a small Oklahoma natural gas commercial and then I did an OERB commercial and it was so fun because waking up early in the morning just excited the heck out of me. <laughs> well, it's completely different from Oklahoma, that's for sure. The weather was different, the people were different, traffic was different, but I felt as if I was like a celebrity. I was like, well, I'm in California, people. <laughs> it's a nice little feeling. Well, what if I feed it? When you're in Oklahoma, it's more of a family feel, you know? It's home. It's going to always be home. L.A. is more of one of those places to where you really have to you know, know where you're going. I did a short film. That was the first thing. That was one of the reasons I flew out to L.A. I did that, and I said, come on, Christina, let's go. <laughs> I felt like a cartoon. Come on, Christina, let's go. It was a family reunion movie. The first part, I was running through the house because my brother was chasing me with a spider. And then in comes grandma telling me to sit down on the couch and then I got in trouble, even though I didn't do anything, which sounds like my life crazily. I did a show called Twisted and I was um, the younger version of the lead role. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. We had to run through the woods and they built us a tree house just for the scene. It was just, I was so, I felt so honored. The next role was an AT&T commercial that I did. And when I did it, I had to eat a Brussels sprout. I ate about, what, five million Brussels sprouts that day. I loved, loved Brussels sprouts. But after that day, I was kind of done with them for the rest of my life. Yes, the middle. It was really cool because I got a trailer. That was one of my first trailers that I got. And so when I got it, it there was food and this freeze-dried and healthy vegan lemonade. It was just mind-blowing. I got to meet a lot of stars and of course my mom was just taking pictures left and right. So I don't know if it was illegal or not. But it was really fun to meet all those stars. Wow. There's just so many people. She's met Willow Smith, Romeo, Romeo, the little thing. And so she just means she's met uh, Evelyn Champagne. She met her at a, it was a venue that she was actually singing for Evelyn Champagne. She met her there, so it was really exciting. And typically I have to make sure that I stay connected with the character, as they would say. Or they would say, don't let Hollywood get to your head. Many people say that. But that would be one of the common things that they would say to me. You know, I just hope that she continues to enjoy it and to embrace this opportunity because uh, a lot of kids don't really have the opportunity. And when you get the opportunity, I think as long as she embraces it and she wants it and she has that desire, we're going to support her. I would want to be in the type of movies, kind of hero action movies, but I would also like to be in comedies because drama, Drama's really cool, but, uh, you know, it's easier to laugh than cry. Just in my opinion. Well, I would say be prepared for the worst. Not like the sky is falling, but just be prepared for rejection because 10 no's can equal one yes, or 10 no's can equal 11 no's. But just be prepared for the worst and always keep your head up. Always. Taylor is such a sweetheart and a great little actress. You know, I taught her everything I know. Luckily, she has other mentors. But since we interviewed Taylor, she's appeared on the CBS crime drama Criminal Minds, two episodes of the NBC sitcom About a Boy. And on January 24th on Nick, 
she'll appear for a second time on that hit show, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Try to say that three times. <laughs> Congratulations to Taylor, but you know, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the TV programming that we have today if it weren't for the radio shows of years gone by.